welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video so today's video I'm going to be doing some makeup and I thought I'll bring you guys along cause I, I got a I was gonna say a bunch of stuff kind of a bunch of stuff uh, I've got it all here that I got when like yesterday I think <laughs> Um, so I wanted to try it all out and let you guys know if, how it is, if I liked it, how it stays on me. So I thought you guys might be interested. So we're on here doing that. Um, I've got my door open, so sorry the background doesn't look that fascinating, but you should be looking at me, doesn't matter about the background. Chip is napping. Um, there's nobody home at the moment, that's why my door's open. Um, when you see that close, you know someone's come home. So it's nice and quiet here. It's not too, too bright, which is okay. That's why I'm back here in my, like, beauty room. Alright, enough rambling from me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that subscribe, hit that bell, and let's get going. Okay, so, we are, what are the stuff I have? I've put some of it away, but I've got this, this, this. Uh, if you guys watch... No, I think this is going to come out before the vlog. Okay, in the vlog you'll see I'll un I unbox the stuff. So, I didn't get a new primer, but I'm just going to use my colour one. This is the Colour Clique one, the Peach Princess. It's been one that I've been using quite often. Uh, recent? Yes, recent, that's the word. Sorry guys, I'm a grown woman, but sometimes I do forget how to speak. I think it happens to all of us. I also have a pimple happening right above my lip and it's kind of annoying me but what are you going to do? It happens, it's life. My lady friends are trying to visit but they haven't come yet. TMI I know but you know, it's life. Alright, enough of that. Okay, next, uh, I, whoa, sorry. <laughs> the box is so close, everything's a little bit cluttered here so the box is a little bit too close, hold on. Okay, so I spray myself with the setting spray. So this is so the foundation can grip onto there and last longer. Okay, so the foundation I'm using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. It looks like this. I've tried the, this is the dewy one, the not dewy one I've tried before. Now I'm thinking that it's summer. I don't know if I like the dewy one. And now I remembered when I was buying this, I forgot to choose the color that I wanted. So... I know that's not the greatest thing in the world. How do we do this without... Oh, well, I guess we have to double dip. Um, yeah, so I, didn't, I forgot to choose the colour that I wanted. So I can see this is quite white, but we'll try it out. If not, I'll just have to use a darker powder to get the correct colour happening. Okay, so I can see it looks a little bit runny. I'm using my Beauty Blender today because I've I washed it, so I thought I will use it. And it's not too bad. It is a little bit on the whiter side because I have a little bit of a tan. Chip and I were sitting at the front a little bit today because he loves to just meddle around in the front garden. So I just sit out there with a little bit with him. While he meddles around, I tan a little bit. I like make lists of stuff that I have to do for the day. It's kind of our like zen moment. I mean, even though we go for a walk, but when I go for a walk, I'm too busy like watching Chippy and I don't even know what oh actually I listen to podcasts and when I listen to podcasts I really just pay attention to what they're saying and rather than you know tune out so I'll, I usually listen to like Kyle and Jackie um, or I listen to just some of the other podcasts that I have depends on what I'm up to okay so after off, off the bat it's nice um, not minding the color uh, the coverage for like just one layer for me personally is not enough. It's not what I like. However, it, it has that natural look about it. Like if you this is all you did and then just put a simple like up some mascara and some lippy, and it's nice for like a day wear where you don't look full on done. So actually, I really don't mind it for that. But if you know me, I uh, if I'm doing the whole work, I like to have a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna go in with just a second layer as well. Just so then I can feel a bit more comfortable with the coverage. Okay, the foundation is on. And now I'm going to go in with the concealer. So I'm going to be using my Perfect Match one. This is the L'Oreal one. I'm going to pop that under my eyes. Damn, I can hear my washing machines really. And then I just blend that out. So I blend it out underneath and also on top of the eyelid as a base for when I did the eyeshadow 
and I'm using the L'Oreal one because it's not as full coverage so I feel like it matches with that foundation if I'm going if I'm using like my good quality like my Juvia's Place I will use my Tarte Deep but I'm, I'm at home today and I just want to do like a nice naturally looking makeup Okay, so I don't usually put too much concealer, but I do go in because I do find like I'm a little bit darker over here. So I just always put a little bit of concealer there. Um, I'm pretty sure the pimple is kind of covered with all the foundation there, which is good. And I'm just going to blend that out too. Okay, now I'm just going to set the face. Well, so I set my underarms with, did I say underarms? Under eyes with my Laura Mercier. Where's my thing? And now I'm just, because my face is really white, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder. This one I've had for a while now. It's a darker color, so it's in the color 11, number 11, um, but it's quite darker. So usually if my foundation is too white, I use a darker powder to deepen it a little bit. And then I use bronzer as well. And then this should work out well. Okay, the powder is on. And now we're going to do the bronzer. I'm just going to use my L'Oreal bronze, please bronze and I just bronze kind of all over the face a little bit so it is long weekend this weekend uh, I'm pretty sure this will probably go up on the Friday that's my plan unless something else comes up uh, what's everyone's plans for this weekend um, I don't think we have anything per se too fixed like we're having some friends over and I'll probably catch up with Aneta again. Um, and that's probably about it. I've been really slow in the news game though. Um, so I'm not really sure what's happening with Melbourne. Sorry guys. I've... I was... When the COVID thing first happened, I was so watching news so much that it was driving me a bit insane. So I've kind of eased off on it a little bit. So I just from time to time watch and read things just so I'm not overwhelmed with everything that's happening. So I had to just step out and hang out my clothes. My mom came home in the meantime, so doors closed and my Fitbit died on me. I put it to charge, but I don't know if that's the issue. It's died a couple of times, but somehow I bring it back to life. So let's hope that happens again. <laughs> All right, back to makeup. So the powder is done and now normally I do my brows. So I'm going to use this Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil, which I have not um, tried before, I'm pretty sure. And once again, I forgot to choose the color because you know what, when they do the picture of what you're getting, I pick the color straight off the bat, like it will say, uh, you know, this, and then I look at, say it says like, I don't know, talk, I hit the button and then it goes on to the next page and I just assume the one that I've hit is the one that it's going to stay on, but apparently it changed because now this is, I think, ash brown, which definitely is not the color that I would choose, but um, I, I think it'll still work and I've kind of learned my lesson now to pay more attention stands like i'm kind of glad that all these items were only like a few dollars so i don't feel too too bad but you know me i'm still going to use them because i'm not wasting by throwing things out that's for sure so i'll just press softly on the pencil so that way it doesn't turn out too dark Okay, the brows are done. I don't think they're too bad at all. I will still continue to use that. What I would do is if I think they're too dark, I just grab my sponge and then like from my pen I'm using it again and I kind of dab it a little bit on there and it does lighten them a little bit. They're a touch lighter now. All right, brows are done. So next we're going to move on over to the shadow. Okay guys, I had to take a little bit of a time out. My mom was outside my room sewing so the machine was going off. So I took a break and I'm back. Okay, so um, eyeshadow, it's probably never going to make a difference. You guys won't even know. I don't know why I'm telling you. Anyway, so I'm thinking of doing like a brown with a bit of yellow on the eye. So I'm going to use my Flower Beauty palette. And then this is my uh, NYX one. NYX palette. I haven't used this in a while, but I'm thinking I might use the yellow in that. On top of, look at me pulling out all the freaking palettes. And the yellow in the Juvia's Place one. So I'm going to start off by doing the finding a brush and then putting a bit of brown just in the crease because that's going to be my base look 
So I even forgot what I was talking to you guys about. So many interruptions today. I feel like my morning has like gone from all the <laughs> interruptions and stuff that I had going on. But I still want to film this because I do have some other things that I also want to film today. So it's good to have my makeup done and ready. And then I feel like I'm ready to go and do anything for the day as well. So this color looks, I feel like when I first put it on, it's like really light. But now when I actually have a look, it deepens. Um, this palette, a lot of the colors are quite similar. There's a bit of fallout, but I just blow it off as you can see. But I'm using the lightest one that I can find in there. And it's still a little bit deep in the base. But I will then um, darken the outer corners because I like that kind of like a smoky eye look. And which means I'll just use another brush. So Chippy's just stepped out onto the balcony. Uh, he's so funny when he he like likes to go out there and get some warmth. And I love to give him a hug when he comes back because he's so warm, feels so warm. So I'm just putting a little bit of concealer just in the inner eye bit there because it's going to be a nicer base because I've got a lighter concealer, a nicer base for the yellow and that way the yellow will come up a little bit brighter and then I just kind of pat that on just that inner corner bit so that way it's easy uh, when you put the like lighter color on it will stand out more because if I put it on top of the brown it, it will kind of mix with the brown and it won't be as bright all right now I'm going to get that nice yellow nice and bright because I feel like um even like a little bit i'm like i better get a clean brush even like um if you tend to have like a brownie base and then pop a bit of color in the inner circle you're still getting a bit of color but it's not over the top and you don't feel that it's uh as bright as wearing just like your whole your whole eye with that color if you don't want to wear too bright colors but i like to kind of change up the colors and not only do like neutral makeup i like to have a little bit of color especially because i film you know i want to give you guys a little bit of different looking me so i don't look the same all the time uh because you guys will get bored of me and also i have all these colors in my palette so i want to use them <laughs> so i'm just patching the yellow onto the eye there in the corner so what i'm doing is like i'm stamping it down so that way the color sets in as you guys can already see it's pretty yellow and now that i've done that i just want to kind of blend it together a little bit so i'm just going to get a blending brush and i'm just going to blend the top bit a little bit and then just down through the middle bit there so then the two colors kind of mesh mesh together so then they're not too harsh but you don't want to blend too much on the yellow because it will get it will get rid of the yellow because the more you blend the more that you lighten the color and now i'm going to go in with this like a shimmery dark brown just on the outer bit because i'm gonna have a shimmery eye so i'm just going to seal the top section just with a little bit of a lighter shimmer color before i do the yellow bit because that that kind of joins the two colors together and now i'm going to do the shiny yellow on this one and i'm going to do that with my finger so that way it i can exactly put it where i wanted i feel like that shimmer of the yellow didn't do the yellow that i had justice for some reason it's, it feels like a deep yellow but i'm sticking with it so now i'm just going to do under the eye so i'm going to do like one of the browns under the eye and my corner i'm going to put the goldy tone and i'll be back okay i'm going to use do some eyeliner now i'm going to use my new nyx one that i have i've really tried this one out and i do like it the only thing is the little brush isn't as long as i normally like it where i could stamp down and the stamping is not as easy with this one as it is with some of the others the eyeliner is on and now we're going to try out the mascara so i'm going to try out the physician's formula one because i've already tried my lash princess one and i do like it so i want to try out this new physician's formula and so one side says volume and one side says length so i'm gonna first go with the length one and have a look okay so the wand is a thin one that looks like that let's give it a go i always find these two in ones a little bit weird 
but hopefully it's gonna work now off the bat I don't really feel like it's doing anything to be honest maybe it needs my concentration <laughs> But to be honest, I normally don't curl my lashes and I'm finding this a little bit difficult to put on. Like I just feel like it's not doing a single thing on this side. I like the brush aids it's little for the bottom hair, so I'll use it for the bottom lashes for sure. And I found I've even got some mascara on my lid, which I do not like. Let's now try the volume side, see how that goes. Okay, I feel like when it came out, there's no mascara on that bottom bit and I've never had a mascara that didn't go all the way to the bottom. That is really strange. I feel like there's like no product in here. That is super weird. All right, we'll give it a go anyway. The brush is cute. It's like turned and cute, so let's give it a go. Whilst it's better than having no mascara, I'm not a fan of how it's kind of gotten all over like my lid, all over the place. Um, I don't find this very easy to work with at all. That's now if you have a look, that's with um, the what was it called again? <laughs> the volume side, and that's without. So naturally, the one with the volume side looks nicer. Like the lashes look a little bit more volumized for sure. But I felt like that first one did nothing at all anyway and this one i feel like the mascara is literally just going only to the tip of it and not to the rest off the bat i cannot say that i recommend this i feel like it was a waste of my money um i will give it another go i might need to like maybe put it under some hot water maybe from the travel it hasn't distributed very evenly but it's not the first time i bought things online um, I really don't feel like it's done much at all to be honest so I really feel like that's a fail I feel like I need more but I might let them dry and maybe I'll pop some lashes on so we'll see but the physician's formula looked like it was a good thing but for me that's a no all right let's get into I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use my Clarins blush I got this in the Christmas um, giveaway giveaway the, the box oh my god i'm lost for words the advent calendar <laughs> and i'm hoping to do that again this year i thought that was really fun to do and i've noticed that people are already posting advent calendar stuff and i'm like isn't it a bit early i don't know but i'm really getting into like the um it's because it's i guess october's like halloween month so i probably might decorate my background with a bit of halloween stuff it's not autumn here and i do watch a lot of um overseas youtubers that i'll talk keep talking about autumn and autumn and leaves and i'm like it's spring and beautiful and summery here <laughs> so um we'll do the halloween thing because i think it's cool all right um highlighter time i'm doing the wet and wild one so this is a blossom glow color also i think i didn't pick the color once again that's that's on me all the color stuff is on me because i thought i picked the right color don't assume Stansy. it's not my first time I tend to assume things I assume people have common sense and they don't so don't assume it's white and frosty uh, not too bad I'm just gonna pop off camera and put my lashes on and put the mascara on the lower lashes and we'll be back okay so the lashes are on and off camera I used the the length one of the mascara for the bottom don't love it that's okay I popped in a little bit of white eyeliner in my inner eye and I used my NYX nude lip liner to line my lips because now we're gonna do the lips so I have two and I'm probably gonna use both of them like I'll, I'll use the gloss on top so the uh, lipstick I just love how it's got those little lips on there this is in the color so it's a wet and wild and it is in the color skinny dipping cute Okay, so it looks like a really nice nude and the lipstick actually looks thinner than other lipsticks I don't think that makes any difference. Oh, I guess maybe that's why it's called skinny Maybe The formula is quite matte. I must say the color is really nice. I Really like the color. It's a nice nude Like it's nice and simple really nice for day wear and perfect with this eye look because I don't want it too like bright um, 
The formula feels nice and creamy. A little bit hard to get on at first, but I guess it's a brand new lipstick. Um, it is a matte, so it's, it should stay on. It's nice and creamy, so I imagine it's one of those that if you eat, it's going to come off. But it feels nice and comfortable, so I like that. Uh, the gloss is a pink. I'm still going to put it on because I want to see what it looks like. I know if it goes with my makeup look, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a butter gloss, looks like that. And it is in this cute little like pink color, so we'll try that on, on top. Well, the color's really pretty. I think it would look actually really pretty on its own as well. But I don't think it's too pink for the look. I feel like it blends really nicely. It's nice and glossy, but not sticky. So it's quite nice. I like that. So that's the the butter gloss in the color Eclair. Ooh, I love an Eclair. Anyone else? I, I love sweets. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to finish it off with a setting spray. This setting spray is nearly finished. And... I think I've sprayed too much. And that's our final look. What do you guys think? I think it's nice. It's like a nice natural look. With a pop of colour. With the yellow there. I touched it up a little bit. Because it did smudge with that mascara. So pretty much. I I just I want to say that I liked everything. But the mascara. I'm not a fan. I really like the foundation. I think it would be nice. Like a day, wear, day look. To just pop on the foundation. And just like not to put powder and stuff. Like a nice sort of. Uh, day look which is which is nice all right enough using the word nice but i think everything else is pretty good so i'm i'm happy with that and fail on the mascara i do want to recommend though this lash prince princess essence one it is so nice i really like it the brush looks like that it works really well and it was like seven dollars so i do recommend that one and um, I do want to say I don't love the Flower Beauty palette. Uh, I find that it kind of goes all over the place and I find the colors very repetitive if that makes sense. I can't open these, I always have to use my tweezers. <laughs> okay, yeah, I find I just the colors are a touch dark, but I can't explain it like they're not the kind of browns that I love to wear and they kind of fall into each other so. I don't use the palette as often. Uh, I did want to give it another go today. I don't mind it, but I don't love it. It's not my go-to at all. This one, I just keep it so I can get a little bit of color. So we good now for summer, but I still love my Juvia's Place one. Like it's such a good palette, I highly recommend. And yeah, so that's my look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry, but for me, for you guys, you probably went smoothly through, but for me, it was like a lot of interruptions <laughs> throughout it. And I'm not used to like doing my makeup in different spurts in the day rather than like in one go because now I feel like I don't have as much filming day left it's nice and sunny it's actually quite bright outside which is good so I just got a few other things that I want to finish off and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this I will try and link what I can down below for you if you have any questions let me know pop them down and I'm happy to answer them um, definitely I I, I actually went back to looking at some old videos and I realized that I hadn't responded to comments and that was because they didn't come up in my notifications and I'm realizing that for some reason some comments come up in my notifications and some don't and I don't tend to go back to videos you know watching my videos to see what's on there so now I found the comments button in the YouTube studio so I do pop on have a look on there so I will see if you guys comment and it's not in my notifications and I can definitely respond so yeah let me know if you guys like this look let me guys know any other looks that you want me to do or any of my makeup that I have that you want me to try and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye oh don't forget to give it a big thumbs up bye